Now, I have done a small bit of research. I try not to. I really do. But in this case, I really needed to because the question was nagging at me. Is there a way offline for me to bring this place to pure white world tendency? Short answer, no. The bosses are all dead. There's no way. The only way I can do it is by having other players invade me, which apparently can happen even when the bosses are dead, which is cool. Um, and I have to kill them. The thing is I have to be in body form, and that's a risk, and I've already made up my mind. I'm doing offline for this playthrough. So, in light of that, my plan is to just shift it to pure black. Explore the whole area, see what's different, then move on. That's what I got. Now I went here, but I have two of these. So I should get a couple more. Alright, so I gotta take those ephemeral eyes. Jump off a cliff. However many times. Turn this to pure black. Then I'm gonna buy some sticky white stuff. Or sticky white slime from Patches. Because that's kinda... Very important. To kill some of the enemies in the second level. And see if I can just clear absolutely everything out. And see what's new. See if I missed anything. These eyes are somewhat valuable, but so far this is the only thing I'm using them for. Imagine how long this must have taken in the original. Do this, add the souls back, head back to the Nexus and see if that did it. Looks like it. This is probably the best thing to do. I plan on sweeping the entire level. From beginning to end, it all shall die. You know how many crystal lizards were in there? It's very possible one of those drops pure clear stone. Which is exactly what I need. Oh. Oh. Have you heard about sparkling lizards? And I? Oh. You want to play? Don't you agree? What is that? Oh, it was about to hit me. Oh! So that's how you get a colorless demon soul. So, here's the first difference. Red Phantom Enemy. His aggro range seems higher, too. Ooh. 
Ooh. Of course, the lizard's still there. I wonder if similarly to like how in Sekiro, if you ring the bell to make the game harder, you get better loot. You also get better loot in pure black or pure white. Spider-Sown, Chunk, and Shark. Cool. Seems like the red phantoms always drop something. Even if it's something simple, it's always something. Here we go. New guy. It seems I have to press the button at the absolute last point. Which is unlike most other Souls games. I suppose it's closest to Dark Souls 1, but it seems like even more at the moment it hits me. I have to press the button. Alright, I expect a whole lot of stuff in this one. The last one was just a couple black phantom enemies. No paths opened up. But this one, like, I can see maybe, like, a black phantom NPC... Hey, wait. Who are you? Ho ho ho. Alright, I gotta respect this guy. If not, he's gonna kill me in one hit like he just did before. And he did it again. Okay. Who are you? A man with a lot of HP. I don't feel bad about this at all. Stay away from me. Yikes. Talisman of Beasts. Well, 
That is a... That's something. Faith and magic. I don't think stuff like that existed in this game. An old wooden amulet featuring a symbolic depiction of the old one can be used to cast both miracles and magic. What a yeah, what was considered a depiction of God was in fact an image of the old one, portrayed as a force of feral chaos. Hello. Hey. Well, I'm happy. My only idea is that this is tendency based because I don't see a way in here. It's got to be pure white and like I said before, There's no way for me to go there offline now that all the bosses here are dead. I did get quite a bit of a hard stone. I don't remember how many I needed to upgrade the buckler. Yeah, you see that? This is back to like closer to white. It's brighter than the chieftain one. From absolute pure black, one teleport. Maybe I can finally out damage the dagger. <laughs> it looks like it. Only by a little bit, but well done. can finally out damage this thing. Two handed too. Especially two handed. I did some thinking. Between these two art stones, either I make this one pure black, since going pure white just not in the cards offline, or cut my losses and just go there. But then I realized option number three. I can go pure black here. I know it's pure white, and I would prefer if it stayed if there was any reason to have it be that way, but I think I found everything that needs to be found because it's pure white. So, there's got to be something here, too. The Black Phantom enemies are also a thing. Sodden ring. Did I miss this? I feel like I missed this. Grants higher mobility in deep water. Like the rusted iron ring in Dark Souls 1? Okay, I know for a fact 
This was not in the original game. People complained so much that in that second level, you could not roll. And I know that when people were making comparisons to Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1, they were saying how there's no Rusted Iron Ring like in it. So this has to be new to the remake. Usually I can't tell things apart, whether they're new or not. The only new thing I know for a fact is the part of the armor set I'm wearing right now. And like the penetrator armor. And the stuff that came with the digital deluxe edition that which I do not have. But like I am very confident. That ring was not in the original game. And that is so valuable. Like there is a chance that that only shows up with black world tendency because i did go through this swamp one time over with pure white and didn't find it but there is a good chance i just missed it oh you again Do you give me any kind of treasure, or do you only give colorless demon souls? Here's what you do now. Yeah. Red Phantom. If it's anything like the one in Stone Fang, it's gonna be tough. Wait, that's the dude! Aww. I assume this guy's gonna be using some kind of magic. Maybe not. But he is going to be dealing lots of damage. I'm sorry, Bridell, I think your name was... Oh, he's, he's trolling me. I need to get a sufficient distance away. Ah. You win this round. Oh, but I'll be back. I'll be back. All right, round two, buddy. I got my dagger out now. Come on. Oh, he's doing it again. He's trolling me. He's using a two-handed moveset. I don't know how to deal with a two-handed moveset. He's doing it again. No! He switches, then he attacks! And I think the switch is the attack! Okay, now this time I'll get him. One more should do it.
made me go through all that trouble to save you just so I can put you down again. And all you have to give me is your cool weapon. I bet it does magic damage, yeah. Stupid. Stupid magic pole. Long rod inlaid with blue gems that emit phosphorescent light. Bladeless and lightweight. This rod is fortified by a spell that low, slowly regenerates the wielder's MP. One of Lord Rydell's most storied exploits from his adventures beyond Boletaria's borders is his theft of this weapon from the Witch in the Sky. Alright, so I searched pretty much the rest of Latria that I could, and I could not find any other changes in pure black. And because I did get two colorless demon souls, I decided, what the hell, I'm gonna upgrade the penetrating sword. It's better. It's still not as good as these things, but it's better. I can confidently say I can use this weapon now. At the very least. Um, it's almost got better scaling than the quality secret dagger. Even if the base damage won't go up even if I upgrade it. But now, with that in mind, I already brought the Valley of Defilement to pure black. See, with Tower of Latria, similarly with Stonefang Tunnel, killing those things takes it out. So you have to do it in one go. I had to bring Tower of Latria back into pure black to bring Rydell after I killed the weird slug monster. So really, you should do one and two. I'll keep that in mind for Shrine of Storms. But yeah, I'll cut ahead to if I find anything unique in the Valley of Defilement. I found this hole. The strange muddy waterfall where it looks like these guys are just infinitely spawning. Just, they just keep coming. Like, there were five of them, and then I killed them all. Now there's just five more, it seems. I walk away and come back. They're just gonna be more. It's like, look at all these bodies. Okay. There's also like one black phantom big guy, but that was expected. that is new who dis I've never seen that armor set I don't think okay now I have to be sure I don't kill myself I just got souls from somewhere I'm on the lookout for another one of those slug things. You're probably hard, actually. Just realized. You probably hit. What the hell? Oh my god.
Doesn't hit nearly as hard as the other ones, but still hard. Just, oh, okay, another thief ring. What I say still stands. There's two of everything, I swear. It, was that how it always was? Because it feels like it's not. They just put another thing in a lot of places. Just glancing around, I feel like I see more items. Just generally. No. Stop it. Blind. Is that the sword you were using? I could use Dark Moon Grass right about now. I didn't actually bring much. Let me just see that. Huh. S scaling and dex. No scaling in strength. So not for me. Sail in Vinland. The dull gold knight was famously dauntless, and this sword was equally well known as a Vinland family treasure. Blade is illusory, and as light as a feather, allowing it to pass through any shield's defense. It only weighs point one. Whoa. That's pretty good for a dedicated dex build. I'll cut ahead to whatever I find next. I found them. I knew you were here somewhere, sunshine. Sitting here all by yourself. You actually look like you're in your element. Ever since I saw you in Stone Fang, I fell in love. I'm glad there's more of you. Really, I just fell in love with the soul that you drop. Kind of look like Fluke Worm from Hollow Knight. Yeah, I searched everywhere other than right here. So I'm already confident that I found everything here too. So, guess it's back to the Nexus. So, back at the Nexus. And I'm pretty confident that I did everything Black World Tendency had to offer in those three archstones. Two, three, and five. Got the colorless demon souls from those weird worm demons. Had the penetrating sword at plus four. You know, I had two thief rings, I had to put that other one away. These ones are just good for safekeeping, if I ever need them again. I think I'm ready to finally go to the Shrine of Storms next time. See ya. Now, I know I said I was going to go to the Shrine of Storms, but it occurred to me, since my world is pure black, there's probably one of these guys in the Boletarian Palace. So I decided to go check around to see where it was, and I finally found it. I also never checked the third level for any black world tendency differences, so there might be something else here too.
with this I can get the sword to plus five, which I think is maxing it out. I'll cut to anything interesting I see. Otherwise, I'll be in the Shrine of Storms. I don't think this has anything to do with world tendency. I think I just found an illusionary wall. Illusory wall, whatever it's called. I didn't know they were in this game. Aww. Not more locked doors. Well. Guess I gotta find the key for that one. That just makes me wonder now, what other illusory walls have I not found by not even knowing they existed? Yeah, I really don't think there's anything up here. Yeah, I think I found everything here. I'm gonna upgrade this sword, possibly for the final time. Then... Ryan of Storm's time. <laughs>